Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. A couple of years ago, I unboxed this TTGO T-Watch sensor module kit, but I never did anything with it. So I, a couple of weeks ago, I got this comment here, did you ever get any of the sensors to work? Well, challenge accepted. Here we go. Yeah, he wants to use them in Arduino IDE. Here's the product page on AliExpress. I like how they always include links to the libraries, and in this case, they have a Read the Docs page as well. And the Read the Docs page has a section for each of the expansion modules for the T-Watch 2019. First, we've got to put the TTGO T-Watch sensor kit backplane on our TTGO T-Watch. The kit includes the TTGO T-Watch 2019, so it seems to be a pretty good value. Here's the backplane. It exposes digital pins, analog pins. We got to install the battery and we have to connect this ribbon cable. Let's get started. So I have to remove the back from the TTGO T-Watch. The kit includes a screwdriver. We might speed some of this up for the sake of time here. All right, we got the back off. Now this is the stock backplane, so it has a buzzer and it also has the SD card slot. I kind of hate to lose that functionality, but we're going to go ahead and follow through with this. You have to lift up that little bar to release the ribbon cable. There we go. Note that that white stripe has to be facing up on the ribbon cable. Now I'm going to retrieve the battery. Okay, let's install the battery on the sensor kit backplane. Yeah, give it another push there. These soldering joints here are going to be kind of rough rubbing against the battery, so I'm going to get a little electrical tape and cover those up. There, that looks a little more comfortable. There's that white stripe facing up. Align it with the connector. Make sure it's straight. That looks good. Let's press that bar down. Okay, we're all set. Let's go ahead and close up the watch. Just have to get that Grove connector lined up there. All right. Now we can screw it together again. Okay, there we go. Now look at all the pins that are exposed here. 33, 34 are analog pins, 25, 26 are digital, and it looks like there's a bunch of other GPIO pins I'm not familiar with. I'm going to go ahead and switch on the T-Watch 2019. I have this example sketch loaded on there. It's called the T-Watch Minimum Display. For Picto Blocks, I'm including this template program that gives you everything you need to start the T-Watch. You can click on the gear there under the T-Watch section and select the correct T-Watch module. And I'm also including the T-Watch minimum display sketch. This will get you started with your T-Watch project. All of this is on GitHub, both the Arduino IDE code and the PictoBlox code. Okay, so the button's on GPIO 25. We're going to go ahead and start out in PictoBlox. Here, it's simply digital read sensor generic at pin 25. I'm selecting the correct serial port and the correct T-Watch. Yeah, generic pin read 25. The button is normally closed, so I had to use if then else here. So if button normally closed, do nothing, else button pressed. And here's the code for Arduino. I'm just going to copy that and paste it into the Arduino IDE. Oh yeah, first we've got to select the TTGO T-Watch and Boards Manager. And this is the T-Watch Base Revision. In order to select the TTGO T-Watch and Board Manager, you have to have the Espressif Board Manager URL under Preferences, Additional Board Manager URLs, just like that. Okay, we'll send the button code to our T-Watch. There you go, button pressed, button pressed. All right, that's working good. 
Up next is this WS2812 RGB module on pin 25. And we're going to write that RGB rainbow pattern. Now here's the difference between the libraries that are included with Picto blocks versus the libraries that are included with Arduino IDE. The Picto blocks version looks really great. It works fine. I'm really impressed with the depth and the brightness of these colors. It's really cool, especially with that plastic dome. But in Arduino IDE, somehow the same library is different. And so there is no pattern to member in Adafruit NeoPixel that's included with Arduino IDE. Sketch didn't work. Next up is DHT12 on pin 25. Note that it is DHT12 because in Picto blocks they only support DHT11. There's no option to pick 12. And it doesn't work. I tried manually editing it to 12, but when I compile it, we get an error. That library doesn't support the type DHT12. So there's another difference between libraries in PictoBlocks and Arduino IDE because this same code in Arduino IDE compiles with DHT12 selected. And here we can see that the DHT12 sensor module is working. Yeah, there we go. It's hot and humid. Welcome to Arizona. Next up is the motion sensor, also on GPIO pin 25. Here's the code in PictoBlocks, digital read sensor PIR on pin 25, motion detected. Same code in the Arduino IDE. We send it. Yeah, just digital read 25. So if there's a signal, motion detected. Wow, that's working great. Next up is photo resistance. Again, the same GPIO pin. Basically, not much of the code is changing except whatever message you want to choose to put on the face of the T-Watch 2019. But this is a complete run-through. I want you to get started with the T-Watch. But this is a complete run-through. I want you to get started with the T-Watch sensor kit. Here we go. Bright light detected. Bright light bright light. All right, that's working. Okay, next up is the relay module using GPIO pin 26. And it's basically closing the connectors on that Grove adapter. It's the outside pins on the Grove adapter. Switch pin 26 high, switch pin 26 low, relay on, relay off. And for my use case, I just hooked an ohmmeter up to the relay, and I'm using the outside pins of that Grove connector there. And you see when the relay goes on, it detects a small amount of resistance, and when the relay's off, we're out of the scale. Here's the door sensor on GPIO 25. Again, just a generic pin 25. Same code in the Arduino IDE. Door open, door closed, door open, door closed. That's pretty cool. Next up is a microphone, and this is on the analog pin GPIO 33. Read analog sensor, microphone at pin 33. Same code in the Arduino IDE. It's just odd because it'll detect a sound and then it takes a while for it to cycle back down. You see it's slowly cycling back. And then I clap again and it comes up and it slowly cycles back. Next up is servo using GPIO pins 25 and 26. Here I'm looping four times, changing the servos by 10 degrees. And then I loop again going in the opposite direction. So the servos are going back and forth 10 degrees at a time. Oh, Arduino IDE doesn't have this ESP32 PMW utilities and I searched for it. 
on the internet and couldn't find it. Leave a comment down below if you know where it is. So I actually copied this library from PictoBlocks libraries and pasted it in my Arduino libraries folder. I don't recommend doing this because of the differences we've already seen in the libraries. But now the code is going to work. Also, the servos that are included with the T-Watch sensor kit are continuous motion servos. So here I've substituted some 9 grams and you see they're just moving back and forth 10 degrees at a time. If this were the continuous motion servos, then they'd just be spinning. So here I'm going to demonstrate the difference between continuous motion servos and those 9 gram servos, basically alternating between 0 and 180 degrees. So the continuous motion servos go backwards and forwards based on whether it's 0 or 180. You see they just keep spinning. And here, the 9 gram servos just do what you expect. 0, 180, 0, 180. Okay, that was fun. This duo function, I tried to do a use case with the PRR detector and the relay, but I couldn't get it to work. Leave a comment down below if you've got a use case for the duo module. It just didn't work out for me. So we're up to the potentiometer, last but not least, and this is on the analog pin GPIO 33. Read analog sensor generic at pin 33, so pin mode 33 input, and display it on the screen. And we know that goes from 0 to 4095. Same code in Arduino IDE, 0, 4095, and back down again. Okay, so we really gave the TTGO T-Watch sensor kit a run for its money. Leave a comment down below on what you think about it. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my TTGO T-Watch playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.